Hello teachers, so this is Microsoft Excel made easy for teachers. Is all right. So as a teacher, there are a whole lot of things you can use Microsoft Excel to do. And one of it is to summarize your student's record, to have a visual perspective of how your students are performing overall in your class. Is all right. So we are going to actually be looking at this particular range of data we have a serial number first name surname age i'll have some of the subject which is language art uh, music and I'll have the overall score is all right so you can go ahead to also see that we've brought up some of these metrics that i want to find out so we will need to find out the average score for each of these columns here so let's go ahead to freeze this pin so i'm going to go to view and uh freeze pin so i'm going to freeze this pin is all right so that when we scroll it doesn't go off our screen all right so you have this set of data i have the different students name now to calculate the overall score is as easy as what hitting what equal to so there are different ways of calculating the overall score in this case so you can decide to pick this add your plus sign pick this add your plus sign pick this then you hit enter now because this data has been preformatted as a table microsoft excel is very smart to auto fill the remaining answers for you so as a teacher one thing you need to do before working with microsoft excel is to preformat your set of data as a table hope this helps if this is your set of data i want to preformat it as a table what you just need to do is to select the range of data that you want to preformat as a table hold down your control on your keyboard then press t at the same time hope that helps if you don't want to go that way select your range of data is all right so select your range of data under your home menu tab you see what format as a table then you can choose the table style that you want. Is all right? So, but we don't want to format as a table because we already formatted before now. Now, another method of achieving this is to, let's just clear this, equal to use the sum function. Is all right? So the sum function, then where you have number one, number two, and all that. So just drag from language select the whole guy so close it up and hit enter and it will still give you your overall score for each of the students and this is over what 300 is that right so here now we want to go ahead to get more metrics from this data so here we can calculate the average score so each of these columns represents this box here each of these columns represent this box here so we are getting the average score for age we are sorry we are getting the average age here and we're getting the average score for language we are getting the average score for art and we're getting the average score for music is that right so equal to so use the average function so you double click to select it so i have number one number two so just select the range so remember, I've freeze, I've frozen my pane before now, so I can just select this range. So as I'm selecting, it opens up. All right. So having done this, you can now go ahead to close up your bracket and you hit enter, and it calculates the average score for me. All right. Do you want to learn another method of dragging down a range of data in a column? So let us go ahead to do the second one which is average score for language i'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut key that i can use definitely now if you want to calculate the average score for language you hit what equal to average start typing average all right then just at the beginning of here just hold down your control shift and your down arrow key and it should select the range of data in that particular column hope that helps and you should close up your brackets then hit enter 
and it will calculate the average for you. So the average score for language is what? 72.05. Now, supposing we delete this average score, I want to show us something. The average age is what? 12.7. We can, at the bottom of this cell, you can just drag towards your right and it will calculate the average for the other subjects. How cool can that be? Is that okay? So you don't need to do it one at a time. All right, hope you are getting value. So the next thing we need to do is to find the maximum value. So you use the function, Excel function max. So you click it and you have your number one and all that. So I'm gonna find the maximum value from for age. So you have or the eldest person. Is all right, control shift, your down arrow key and you close up your bracket and hit what enter and it should give you that is okay so having done this you can now drag towards your right to fill it up accordingly so this is maximum score for english or for language maximum score for art so maximum score for music now you can also find the minimum score using the excel function mean so remember you proceed all from like dot and equal sign equal to mean so select it open bracket select your range of data control shift your down arrow key and select that close it up and hit enter so the minimum age is 11 so drag it to the right and it should auto fill then you can count the number of students equal to count for count definitely it actually counts the main values so if there are 12 students it will tell you that there are 12 students is that right so i'm sure it should give you invariably the same answer because we have only 12 people so i have 20 students in all everything definitely here will be 20 hope you know why it's 20 because it just counts on the cells that have numeric data in it and since there are 20 students definitely 20 students have different scores in each subject in 20 different places <laughs> all right so so you can find total score. I've actually got in the total score. So there's no need to calculate total score at this instance. So this is actually how to use Microsoft Excel to speed up your workflow and to work smartly and more efficiently. If you notice, we're able to start with by calculating the overall score and we were able to achieve all this. And we saw how Excel smartly auto filled the content for because we preformatted our set of data as a table then we went ahead to see how we could further summarize this set of data by finding the average score maximum value minimum score count of student then we have this so this is actually a way to use microsoft excel as a 21st century teacher so don't ignore this so if you learned one or two things from here you can definitely teach others support our channel by smashing the subscribe button also like and share this video if you have any question don't hesitate to drop it in the comment section also comment maybe if there are other ways we can improve on our videos if there are other things you want us to make video on as far as microsoft excel is concerned you can drop it in the comment section Go ahead to watch the video on your screen that shows you 15 powerful Microsoft Excel keyboard shortcuts. Watch it right away. Excel made easy for teachers.